Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to do this neutral glam makeup look, perfect for any special occasion. So if you want to see how to go from the right hand side to the left hand side, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by using my MAC Prep and Prime Primer to prime my skin. And this is important for any special occasion because you're going to want your makeup to last the entire day and this will definitely help with that. For my foundation, I'm going to use this Revlon Colorstay Foundation because it is a full coverage foundation and on a special event or at a special occasion, you want to look your best. So as you can see, I'm pressing the foundation into my skin, just literally patting it onto my face before blending it out. What this is going to do is it's going to help you achieve the best coverage and best finish. take my elf eyebrow kit to fill in my brows and brows are boring but essential um, but because they're boring I'm just going to show you this little clip and then we are going to move on. So now I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to highlight my face. I'm using a Pro Longwear Concealer because as I've said before we want our makeup to stay on the entire day and the Pro, Pro Longwear Concealer definitely does stay on the entire day. This concealer is two shades lighter than my foundation shade, so it will give me a highlight and it will not crease anywhere, so perfect for under the eyes. to use this concealer brush to blend out all of my concealer and you are really going to want to take your time with the step because you need to make sure that all of your concealer is perfectly blended out so that you do not look patchy. <laughs> skin finish in medium plus to set the foundation and concealer so that it does not budge the entire day. Next I'm just going to use this Essence Brow Gel to set my eyebrows so that they do not move or smudge on any of my clothing throughout the day. This step is quite important if you are in a warmer climate because I have seen eyebrows melt with people's faces before and it is not fun. Next I'm using my NYX HD Eye Primer to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow and anything else like eyeliner. And this is going to help the eyeliner and eyeshadow stick on and stay put for the entire day and night. This will help your eyeshadow not crease because a creased eyeshadow is not an attractive look on anyone. For my eye makeup, I'm going to use the Stila In The Light eyeshadow palette. And please bear in mind that you do not need to use this palette, you can use anything similar. And the first shade I'm going to take is called Bubbly, and this I'm going to apply to my entire lid. This is just a warm tone golden shade, but it's not completely golden, it's more champagne, a warm tone champagne shade. So if you can find any other warm tone champagne shade, then use that instead of this if you do not feel like using the Stila eyeshadow palette. <laughs> going to take this mid-tone brown shade and this shade is called Bliss and I'm just going to use this on a large fluffy brush to blend into my crease just to add some dimension. Next 
next I'm going to use a darker brown color with more of a shimmer to it and this is called Sunset and I'm going to use a flat shader brush and I'm going to define our outer corner with this color. This color is perfect for this because it is not too dark and it is not too light. And of course blend it all out using the same big fluffy brush from before. Ladies, if anything can go wrong, I promise you it's because you haven't blended. Make sure to blend after every application. Next I'm going to use the shade Bay, and this is just a creamy off-white um, highlight shade and I'm just going to use this to highlight my brow bone. I'm sure this step was quite predictable. Blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm going to take this other champagne shimmer shade called Kitten. And as you can see, the difference between this shade and the shade we used earlier is that this Kitten shade is a cool tone champagne and the bubbly shade is a warm tone champagne. The reason I'm using the kitten shade against the bubbly shade is because I'm looking for that contrast, which will definitely pinpoint your highlight. Now I'm just going to take bubbly again and I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use a cold eyeliner instead of a liquid eyeliner to line my upper lash line. And the reason we are doing this is because of the um, coal eyeliner gives you a less harsh look compared to the um, liquid eyeliner and as you can see we are blending the eyeliner out to make it a lot softer and this look just looks a lot more natural especially for a special occasion. Now I'm just going to use a white eyeliner to line the waterline and this is going to help your eyes look larger, more awake and a lot more fresh. This is definitely an important step when doing special event makeup, for example, bridal or bridesmaids makeup. Now I am just applying some mascara to my upper and lower lashes and I'm going to apply some false eyelashes later on. If you don't want to wear false eyelashes, then this would be your completed eye makeup look. Now I'm just going to use the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer to warm up my complexion. Now I'm just going to use this darker bronzer shade from MAC and I'm going to use this to contour and really stop out and define my face. When using a full coverage foundation, and a highlighter, it is definitely necessary to contour your face because when you use a full coverage foundation, you tend to lose the definition of your face and you do definitely need something to balance out your highlight. going to use a large stippling brush to blend the two together. Next up I'm going to use this peach toned blush and this blush does have some shimmers in so it's going to help give you that natural glow to your cheeks without looking like a disco ball. I absolutely love this blush for special occasions. Now I'm just lining my lips with my NYX Lip Liner in Nude Pink. This step is essential if you want to have gorgeous lips all night long. Wearing a lip liner definitely adds to the longevity of your lipstick and you will not have to reapply your lipstick as many times as you would without a lip liner. Now I'm just applying my MAC lipstick in Love Lawn and this is definitely my best Your Lips but Better shade which is perfect for bridal makeup. 
So this is the finished look without false eyelashes. If you don't want to wear false eyelashes, then stop here. However, you know me, I'm definitely going to pop on some false eyelashes. And I'm not sure what number these false eyelashes are, but I know that they are from Red Cherry. So I'm sorry guys, I can't tell you which ones they are, but they are just a cat eye effect lash. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm just showing you the difference between wearing false eyelashes and not wearing false eyelashes. As you can see, wearing false eyelashes definitely brings more attention to your eyes and makes your eyes look a lot bigger. I am a huge fan of false eyelashes and I think that every girl should own at least one thing. <laughs> That is the finished look. Perfect for brides and bridesmaids. I will zoom you guys in in a second. There you go. As you can see, the eyes are very simple but very defined with nice fluttery eyelashes. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.